I first want to congratulate both you, Seth and Laurel. It was a fantastic production. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, and, and, and Laurel, in, in the directing, directing is such a hard, but when done well, noticeable uh, attribute to any performance. And I want to commend you on crushing my soul when, <laughs> play, uh, when, when the votes were about to happen against Tom, the lights dimmed and they sort of spoke about the votes. I was ready to raise my hand. <laughs> I wanted to vote, yeah. <laughs> but that's what I wanted to vote. The, right, that's what I wanted. But it was great. I think, I think if we had the chance to vote, we would have voted in favor of Tom. Would I agree? Yes. Yes. I think what's important, you know, to have a strong position and and Tom was a unique character in the play because for somebody to know that everyone is against you, uh, but to still fight because you know deep inside you that it's the right thing to do, irrespective of the challenges and irrespective of you know what may come towards you afterwards, he fought for the right thing. Uh, he knew he was going to lose his job. He knew his father-in-law was probably going to cut him off uh, from his inheritance. Uh, but he knew what was right and, and pushed forward for it. One of the things that I've said, and I had the fortunate pleasure of working in a high school um, mm. a, a number of years ago. You know, so many people talk about STEM education, and you know, I make it a point every time someone says STEM to throw that A in there and talk about STEAM mm. uh, and the importance of the arts, uh, because when you look at the impact on the arts uh, for children, young people, anyone who's in school, the arts are what ground people are. Uh, it is one of our deepest desires for sure as an organization to produce art that actually has a meaningful connection to the people we serve, which is you. And so I'm incredibly grateful uh, to Matthew for uh, jumping in. On it.